what up everybody welcome to the video today's topic is going to be makeup and girl talk with my girl danya hi <laughs> so we are going to be doing our makeup and at the same time we are going to be taking topics that she had posted on her instagram danya leslie and then it's an underscore under we'll post it for you go follow my girl and her new youtube channel that she just oh, yes. started today <laughs> today we posted it today mm -hmm. go subscribe what is that that's just Danya Leslie, so it's just my name spelled out. And I will post it as well for you guys. And we are just going to be going off of topics that you guys sent us on our Instagram mm -hmm. and then going from there. So enjoy. For my eyebrows, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the uh, dip brow pomade, basically. What In color? medium brown. Medium brown? My shit. Medium brown. Medium. <laughs> so goals, goals. So short term goal for me, um, basically was to start the YouTube. For me, like that's short term, like getting it together and kind of learning mm -hmm. and um, getting like how to edit and post things that you know people want to see and everything. Just wanting to make it raw and real, like just. You know, kind of like that uncut stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. That's a good short-term goal. That's a good thing to come up with because a lot of girls are going to want to follow to see how you do it mm -hmm. so that they can learn too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, learn yes. together. Mm. Do I have short-term goals? Um, yeah, you know what? My short-term goal is to... I need to upload a video every day. Every day. Like, my short-term goal is to be consistent and every day upload a YouTube video. That's hard. It is. But that's, that's a lot of work, like, to come up with content every single day. Yeah. It's work. No. But see, even if I do, like, makeup of the day, at least it's a video. Yeah. And your makeup looks bomb, so I'm sure people would, like, love to see that. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> Long-term goals. Long-term. I just want to use my platform like long term. I honestly want it to be something to be able to build off of and something to be able to I want to go I don't want to go all gospel and say like inspire people, mm -hmm. but honestly, it's like I want my platform to be able to help people. Like just from my understanding and just, you know, how I grew up and then giving people tips and everything on things maybe I could have done or you know in certain situations I've been through my tips and everything I think long-term goal at the end of the day is to inspire people makeup wise like a long long-term goal is probably to like eventually in life come out with like a makeup brand girl I'll be there <laughs> you know a long-term goal for me I think is the same as you I want to build an empire that everybody can use yes you know what I mean like long it's not only for certain people or mm -hmm. it doesn't box people out Yes, yeah, something everybody can use, build from, like, know that they're not alone in. Yeah, I agree. Honest, I feel like goals is a great thing to have. I used to do every, I used to do daily goals, really? weekly goals. Yes, and then I used to have this planner. I actually, I had it somewhere. I put it somewhere, and I, I would write in it. I would write my daily goals, even, huh. and I would at least write three, so that hopefully I can accomplish one. Because it inspires you. Once you accomplish one, you're like, oh shit. Like, I you can know, do it. I can do it. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I can accomplish two. I do. I feel goals is like a huge thing. Even if they're small goals, because it helps guide to bigger goals. Yeah. So, next topic that we will go to, let me read from mine. Um, mine are a little bad. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Y'all are a little nasty when it comes to my topic. Oh. Alexandria Marie 30. Relationship advice. Um, relationship ad advice, I feel everybody is that's why I feel like that was my number one topic. I think the best advice I can tell anybody is communication. Yeah. Communication, you guys have to have, like I feel like everybody has to have good communication and if they don't like it really is it can't work yeah it can't work if you can't communicate what you want or need yeah it's hard for it to work 
and you, and communication is not just like I tell people. I tell my husband, you have to listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. And guys, they're like, but you said it. It's like, but are you listening? One are thing, you hearing? It's two different things to hear and listen. Mm -hmm. Hearing and listening are two different things. Like intake what I'm saying to you. Like put it in your head, so replay good. it, think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And, and vice versa for us too. Like we can get in our ways where their guys are telling us stuff and we just don't want to hear it. The thing is, what a lot of people don't realize, guys are very, in one way or another, they tell you what they want. Mm -hmm. They always do, whether it's directly saying it mm -hmm. or in the things they do or say. They yeah. always tell you what they want and need. And they're very black and white. Guys are yeah. very black and white. Girls, we're all over the place. Like, we we are. We're all over the place. And I feel like it's harder for guys to understand what we're trying to say or what do what we're trying to do. Because to be honest with you guys, half the time I don't even know what the fuck I want. I don't know what I'm mad about. I just know I'm mad. I don't know what I want to make it better. I just want him to figure it out. And fix it. <laughs> and fix it. And so I will admit on my end, I'm a I'm a hot mess. So communication is really key when it comes mm -hmm. to having a relationship. I think keeping an open mind is like the most important thing also because you have to understand not everybody thinks and acts like you do because not everybody was raised the same, not everybody everybody didn't go through the same things, mm -hmm. they didn't deal with certain things. So the everybody has a different perspective and you have to keep an open mind and remember like they might not look at something the way you do because they either haven't been there or they can't understand it on the same level you can and you just have to understand that. Yeah, no, that's having the understanding too. Sometimes it's just not gonna work and it's okay to just be like, you know what, let's be friends. You know what I mean? Like it's just not. That or you have to learn when it's time to walk away. Like if you keep yourself in a relationship that is just not working it becomes toxic to yeah both of you not just one of you but both of you right and then it's and then it kind of ruins the whole op like now you can't even have a friendship yeah you know you what can't i mean end things on a good note when you're just mm -hmm. like you sat there until it was so bad that you had to leave yeah i you agree so the I next topic that i got was how did y'all learn to do makeup by it's natalie 14. I learned to do makeup. I've always done makeup since I was little. Really? How yeah. Old? Like I was playing with makeup since I was like five. Really? But I went to beauty school when I was 16. Mm. So they taught you like the fundamentals, like the basic. But to be honest, the only way to really learn how to do makeup is just trial and error. Yeah. My mom, so I have a lot of people in my family that are, um, that do cosmetology mm. and I just kind of always loved it. Hair, makeup, nails, all of that. Um, but makeup, I didn't start like wearing and like kind of figuring out and everything until middle school. I was like 11, 10 or 11, yeah. And then honestly, that because I wasn't allowed to wear makeup before then and at that time my mom was like, I give up <laughs> because I just wanted to wear it. I like to play with it. And so I wouldn't wear it out, but she would let me like do it. So I would play in her makeup and do my own makeup. So from like 10 all the way to basically high school, I didn't actually start wearing makeup like out, out, like real makeup until high school, my freshman year. Okay. So I'm gonna be using this palette, the new nude one. By Huda Beauty? Yes. I'm also gonna be using this one, it's called the Best Life Palette. Violet Foss. Okay. And I'm going to be doing a Vibrance and it's going to be the Vibes by Violet Voss. Mm -hmm. This is her palette, you guys. My favorite palettes right now. Ooh, look at this. Yes. Oh. And the pigments. So I'm gonna be doing colorful. You're gonna be doing what? I'm gonna do more of a nude, like smoky eye, just nice nude. Mm, I'm gonna play with this because I haven't played with colors in a minute. I've actually been playing with color a lot lately. That's why I want to do I, nude. <laughs> I've seen. You see her Instagram? Yes. Her Instagram is popping. So the next topic is by Isandria. I'm just gonna guess that that's how you say it. Please correct me. Girl, I am wrong. It says how you guys met. Which is a funky 
story. No, it's not funny. So we. <laughs> I was actually, like, I'll let you tell this one. Yeah, no, we really. It was um, through Leslie and Ryan. Um, mm -hmm. She was at the baby shower, and I was hosting it. So mm -hmm. we just clicked. Yeah, honestly, I think I was just. She was hosting, and I played like all the games. All the games. <laughs> she was funny. Fun as hell. When I tell you, no shame in her game, girl got it. Yeah, I was like, I was playing all the games. I was just talking to everybody. I was just having a good time. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. But we did meet once before that. Oh, at LaBella's. Yes. We did meet at LaBella's. We were having like family night and we met her. And it was, I'm telling you, you're very easy to talk to. She's very, she's a very humble like, person. I feel like when people look at me through a camera, it's like, People always tell me that they're scared to come up and say hello because I look like mean or just stuff like that I feel like I have that mean face and then when you talk to me, I'm like hi Yeah, like very... I'm probably the nicest person you'll meet, but I'm also very blunt Like friend wise, I'm very blunt I don't like to sugarcoat things because if you have a true friend like I feel like that's just what it is You have to be blunt with them if they can't take it then they don't want real friends I agree <laughs> So I'm very blunt, but I'm also very nice. Like I'm really easy to talk. I like talking to everybody mm -hmm. and making conversation with everybody when I go places. So yeah, no, I we clicked. It was like I said, it, very easy, fun. She's into makeup. You know, we're both into the beauty industry, so it just <laughs> worked. I did her nails, so that's an easy. Um, oh yes, look at this. So I hope obviously, you guys can see it, but like, it's so cute. Okay, girl. I like white. It looks good on your skin too. It makes me look like I have a tan that I don't have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so the next topic is by Jules. It says, being a secure, independent woman in today's society. Hmm. That's a great topic and I would yeah. love to address that. And I honestly feel to be independent from one is something you really have to do like you have to do it you have to put your mind into it you have to strive for it you can't pretend you're independent and not have a job <laughs> not have your own stuff like right you can't because believe me there's these girls out here that are like oh independent but then again being taken care of but one being independent means actually having your own shit at least a job you also have to want it bad enough because I've met a lot of people who have honestly say like, oh, I want to be independent. I just don't know how. If you want it bad enough, you'll do it. Trust me. Ooh, somebody asked a question about of me. Okay, get it. Des94 said, what's your new channel going to consist of? Oh, I like it. Get it, girl. Um, honestly, my channel will be about like me, like just real ish you know my life my life before and my life now so it'll probably be like i know my first video i want to do like an about me video and my story just so that the people viewing my you know videos can get to know me as a person and not just me as a girl behind a camera who is just living this life right like i want people to know me as a person and why i am the way i am and what I've been through in my life and basically what brought me to be the person I am today. On top of that, I want to do I want to do vlogs like of everyday things. I want to do fun stuff. I want to do makeup tutorials. Like it's a lot of different things. Like overall, it's just going to be stuff about me. <laughs> me and what I do or what I can't do and all of that, you know, fun stuff. <laughs> I know I'm excited. Me too. I think I was so scared. I was so scared at first to do it and it took for the people I have behind me, like all the support I was getting to actually be like, okay, I'm gonna do it, you know? Right. And it took for them to believe in me so that I could look at it and be like, okay, maybe if I try it, you know, for me to believe in myself, basically. Right. I was scared. I've never done it alone. So it's a big difference. I believe in you, girl. Thank you. The next topic is by May0619. It says, how do you stay motivated? Well, staying motivated, ugh, again, I feel is like a mindset because everybody's going to have those ups and downs. So how do you get out of the down? You know, I think that's yeah. the hardest. Keeps me motivated. My 
my kids. I was gonna say your family. Huh? Yeah, my family. I I I can't. I look at them and then it just oh, okay. I gotta do it. You know. Yeah, you have somebody to do it for. Yeah. What is it? You don't have kids, so what's yours? <laughs> I would say my family too, just not as, you know, kids in the sense. Mine is more like my mother, my sister for sure, my little sister, um, which if anybody that's on here that does follow me knows who my 18-year-old sister is because she's always on my Instagram, we live and everything. Um, but honestly, that's what motivates me consistently, knowing that like, my sister one looks up to me mm -hmm. my mom is proud of me right and she supports me my auntie just i feel like my family in general i want to be that person you know i'm not saying they're not successful but it's like because my a lot of my family is pretty successful but it's like this is a different branch you know of right, success. Right, right, right. and i just want to make them proud of yeah. me like I just want to do something that makes them proud of me and that I also love in the process so that's just what keeps me going okay <laughs> so the next topic is by Crystal Garajeda life update it's the next topic life update life update all right so wait are you done with your eyes no I have to blend this okay <laughs> So life update for me is I just got monetized on YouTube. Ooh. So we now are monetized, which means YouTube is going to pay us for the ads, which is very exciting because it took me a minute to get there. When I tell you be motivated, be motivated. Children are going back to school. So that's amazing. I, if you guys are moms, you understand my feels. <laughs> um, yes. And, um, we're doing YouTube. I'm still doing my nails. You know what? To be honest, I really don't got a life update. My shit is the same every day, all day. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. That's it. My life update. Um, I work. <laughs> I work literally all week from sunrise to late, late afternoon. <laughs> That's like my everyday life until the weekend. And then the weekend, I try to get out because I believe I got to a place in my life where I was like just wanting to stay in and avoiding people because I didn't really feel like being around people or people who were happy or like just, you know, you don't want to be the party pooper right. and things because you're just not feeling it. So as of now, I am getting out of the house more on the weekends because I still have to work, you know, we need money. <laughs> it took me, I think, I took a week. A week of just like, dwelling. Hey, that's good. Anything more than a week, I feel like you, you fall into like depression. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> no. So if you are going through shit in life, and it doesn't matter what it is, know that like, okay, when to snap out of it. Okay, let me, let me get out. Let me go hang out with friends. Let me have some fun. Let me laugh. Like, you need it. So. You just have to have that mindset of okay, it is okay to cry. It is okay to feel a certain way. It's okay to get your feelings together and take some time away, you know, from people, from everything. But you have to remember that there is life after that. Like you have to keep going. Like you have to be like, okay, I cried, I dwelled, I was angry, I was sad. Now I need to get my life together and like do me and what's best for me and what makes me happy and that's not sitting in the house crying. I'm at a point where I'm like, I'm, I'm getting out there, I'm working, I'm getting out there. I started filming my videos on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I was filming like tutorials on Instagram. I am now doing the YouTube. I just, you know, started the channel today and I had posted that my goal was to get to 1K so I could post a video. Little did I know that the supporters I had on my Instagram loved me so much and I'm so happy. Like, it made me so excited. She I was. got to 1K in two hours. No, it was less. It was like an hour and a half. Yeah, like an hour and a half I got to 1K and that was literally my goal and I thought it was going to take like a couple of days. And I feel like it warmed my heart. Like, it just made me feel really good, like, dang, you know, these people actually want to watch me. Yeah, and, and it they, makes you feel good. And the response that you had was so humble. You know what I mean? Like, you genuinely 
felt the love and the appreciation from them. It just makes them. your heart feel good. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I don't know. You know that little fuzzy, like, oh my God feeling that you get? You got to like, oh my God. And when, like it's like head. when you ace a test and you go home and you tell your mom and like, she's so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So as far as an update, I did tutorials, YouTube, um, my life is together, I'm working and trying to film at the same time. This is, this is about it. Yeah. This next topic is by Estrada Jost, I believe. J-O-S-S. Balancing a busy life. Ooh, that one's good. Ooh. That one's for me because I do have my six kids, my husband, my nails, my life. So, how to manage a busy life, I want to say is all about schedule. Like, you have to have a schedule, especially if you have children. Like, a schedule is huge. Ever since I had my very first son, my grandma told me, schedule. No matter what's going on with your life, schedule, 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 and make sure that your life revolves around that schedule. And just organize. Organize, you know, your dinners, like, prepare the next day. Yeah, life is crazy. Shit happens all the time where... As much as I love to schedule and prepare for the next day, some things happen. It's just making sure you pick it up where you left off or just getting back in the motion. Do you organize and schedule? I do not have a busy or hectic life, but I do like to organize. I'm the type of person that likes to plan her day, um, like the whole day. Okay. <laughs> and I don't like stick to the schedule, like to, you know. Right, but you like to have a plan. I like to have a plan for that day and things I have to get done. I like to get everything done. Because if I don't write it down, my thing is if I don't write it down, I won't do it. <laughs> I have to write it down or I, would, I just won't do it. So the next topic is going to be by Samantha Manzo. It says self-love, body, and looks. That's the next topic. For me, I feel like self-love is what it says. Like you have to love yourself, flaws and all. Mm -hmm. Like you have to understand we're not perfect. Um, women were not made to be perfect and beauty is in the eye of the beholder and I think it all starts from you within so people will love you if you love yourself I, I feel do you feel that way yes I think that so when you view yourself or talk about yourself a certain way it gives people the okay to do the same thing mm -hmm. so if you're all about self-love and you only uplift yourself you'll see that people around you will do the same. Yeah. Now, if you talk yourself down and are always putting yourself down and stuff, people around you will do the same because you're making it okay. So mm -hmm. I feel like it comes within yourself and it's just the people that you surround yourself with, like the kind of people. It helps. I'm not saying it like comes from that, but it does help to keep good people around. And anybody that's negative or tries to bring negativity into your life, I feel you need to be strong-minded to be able to understand that's their opinion and to have a no fuck type of attitude. Like, who cares? Oh, this one's a good one. All right, so next topic is by Princess underscore one to one. And she says, where do you see your, where do y'all see yourselves in 10 years from now? You can go first. Me? Yeah. Um, 10 years from now, I'll be what? 30. 10 years from now, I want to have two kids. Oh. I think I want to have my first kid between like now and 25, like my two kids. I just want two kids. So between now and 25, I want to have two kids. Um, obviously to have kids, I want to be married to that person. Um, so by 10 years, I want to be married. I want to have two kids. I want to be stable enough in my life to where I, like, I feel comfortable. You know when you're, like, stable, like, more than stable and you're just, like, just happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't have nothing to complain about. I want to be stable in my career. I know what that is. I want to be done with school because I'm starting school again soon. College again. For what? Uh, I want to just finish my general ed. I only did one semester straight out of high school when I was 17. 
Oh. And I just, I never finished. So I'm gonna start doing that um, soon, actually. I was looking at classes. And so I wanna be done with that and what you know career choice I end up choosing. I'm just going for that. So where I wanna be in 10 years. All right, so for me in 10 years, shoot, in 10 years, you know, I'll be old as shit in 10 years. I'll be 42 years old. Dude, it, okay, with that being said, in 10 years, I wanna already have money enough to be able to retire and not worry. Um, I wanna have my business all set up so that my kids are ready and set to go to run it. I want all my kids to be in 10 years. Boo, 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 boo. My youngest will be, she's, she'll be 14 in 10 years. Dude, I'm still gonna, I'm barely gonna go through my last teenager in 10 years. <laughs> so, to have all that squared away, uh, most of my kids out of, out of school and in college um, have my whole house remodeled. I want my dream house. I want my dream house. I hope within 10 years I have my dream house. Girl, I got a lot of goals within 10 years. In 10 years That's I want. Good though. I see all this stuff being done in 10 years. Like 10 years is a long time. I know you say 10 years and sometimes we're like, that's not a long time, but it is oh. like when you're living through it, it goes fast as you get older, but it is a long time. So the next topic we have is by um, Carla and she put heartbreak. So how to get over heartbreak. For me, I think it's like I said earlier, I allow myself a certain amount of time to dwell and this is for any type of heartbreak not just relationship like anything i allow myself a certain amount of time to dwell and cry and just get it out of my system and then after that i set up goals i like i said i'm the type of person that likes to have things written down so i know what i have to get done and that doesn't have to mean like a to-do list like a what you have to get like grocery shopping stuff that's just like in general if i need to get something done for myself to make me feel better like i get it done so i need to have goals of what like i need to happen in the next couple of weeks so that i can feel better i need to get myself together i need to i feel like the way i get over heartbreak is like a little checklist oh, okay a checklist i just check everything off like all of that basically i do i feel you know what it is because i've been through a lot of heartbreak too um and with a lot of heart like death um just being let down by friends or yeah. ending friendships and you know family and guy heartbreak everything i really do honestly believe time heals anything anything but you also have to put in the work of not Wanting. allowing it to get to you you, you know you have to want to heal from it mm-hmm yeah, a hundred percent. Like and it's okay to heal from it. A lot of people, it's like you see a lot of people putting other people down because they heal at a different pace mm -hmm. or they deal with things differently. Mm -hmm. You can deal with your heartbreak however you need to. I to help you. Like however you need to. You can be sad for however long you need to. I just would not recommend to dwell on it for too long because then you stay in that constant depression and you don't want to do that to yourself i think that takes like a strong-minded person to do because some people just can't do it and it's hard to be strong-minded especially if you are heartbroken because like you're in your feelings you yeah. don't know what to do so i think baby steps like you have to force yourself to do things that are going to make you happy so you can feel that happiness so you can feel the happiness again so like when yeah. friends invite you out to do things, go. As much as you don't want to or you're like, no, you know, whatever the situation is, you kind of like, okay, I have to. Yeah, get out, do mm -hmm. stuff. Do things that you know will make you feel better. All right, everybody, so we're gonna end the video as we're putting on our lashes. I'm going to do one more comment or one more question, and it is worst client you've had. So being that I do nails and makeup on clients, um, I guess I will answer that the worst client I have ever had was a friend. It was a friend of mine. And she had came over to get her makeup done. And 
as I finished doing her makeup, I had told her the price of how much it was going to be and she told me that she wasn't going to pay me because we were friends and there was no need for her to pay me. Oh no, I would be mad. And I, that point, told her to leave and that was that. So yeah, worst client was a friend of mine and it went all bad. Did you guys say friend though? Oh no. Um, yeah, no, I can't. But yeah, lashes bring a look together 100%. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like your smoky eye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Colorful. It's cute. I like the liner. Yeah. The yellow liner is cute. I, I like really? color. I do too, but I never do color, but this is cute. I always do color and I never do like stuff like this. Yeah. That's okay, crazy. Okay. All right. to my finger. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and end this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to both channels. Again, I will link them down below, and we will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.